Mothers use breast pumps for many reasons. Most often, mothers pump on a regular basis to provide breast milk to their preterm or hospitalized infants, or when they're working outside of the home. Regardless of the situation, a mother's breast pump equipment should help protect her milk volume by optimizing breast emptying, preventing nipple trauma, and providing maximum comfort during pumping. This brief presentation will discuss factors involved in selecting a breast shield and how to obtain the best fit for maternal comfort and optimal milk expression. Breast shields are the component of the breast pumping system that comes into direct contact with mother's nipple and breast. Because of the wide variation between nipple and breast shapes and sizes, a one-size breast shield doesn't fit all women. Breast shield fitting involves a balance between clinical fit of the shield to the mother's breast, milk output, and mother's comfort. Before we talk about fitting breast shields, let's take a quick look at breast anatomy. This image was developed from ultrasound studies of the lactating breast by Dr. Donna Geddes at the University of Western Australia. Here we see the ductal network in the breast, including the main milk ducts at the nipples, as well as those throughout the breast. Milk ducts collect milk, allowing transport to the nipple for removal. You can see here that many ducts are very close to the skin surface in the nipple and areola. This will be important when we discuss breast shield sizing. Next, we see the glandular tissue that produces milk. It's embedded within the interglandular fat that is diffused throughout the breast. Notice that, like the ducts, some of the glandular tissue can be very close to the skin surfaces of the breast. The amounts and distribution of glandular and fat tissues within the breast vary from woman to woman, with many women also having differences between their breasts. Clinical experts have noticed that changes occur in breast and nipple size and shape over the course of lactation. All of these anatomic factors necessitate multiple breast shield sizes and regular attention to proper breast shield fitting. Medela is the industry leader in variety of breast shield sizes available for pumping mothers. Medela Personal Fit Breast Shields are available in several sizes. Small, which has a tunnel diameter of 21 millimeters. Medium, with a tunnel diameter of 24 millimeters. There's also a large breast shield, which is 27 millimeters, an extra large of 30 millimeters, and a double extra large that is 36 millimeters. All sizes are designed to fit onto the same personal fit and harmony connectors on the breast pump collection kits. Medela's Breast Milk Initiation, or BMI, kits include both breast shields of 24mm and 27mm sizes. All other kits come standard with 24mm size breast shields. So how do we know what size breast shield a mother should use? We recommend using the word comfy to guide selection. To explain breast shield sizing, let's go through each of the letters in COMFY one by one. First, C stands for a centered nipple that moves freely in the breast shield tunnel. When applying the breast shield, gently press the shield onto the breast until a good suction pressure is achieved. But don't press too hard, because pressure might obstruct the ducts near the surface of the skin or compress glandular tissue. If mothers hold the pump kit by the shield, as shown here, rather than by the bottle portion of the pump kit, they will distribute the pressure of the shield against the breast more evenly, protecting breast tissues, allowing better milk removal, and increasing comfort. This is how a nipple should look while a mother is pumping. Note the centered nipple moves freely in the tunnel. Here you see a breast shield that is too small, causing redness and sensation of tightness around the circumference of the nipple. Sometimes blanching can be seen at the base of the nipple if the shield is too tight. Shields that are too small can cause discomfort and nipple trauma. In these situations, milk removal can be impaired 
and milk output reduced because the ducts in the nipple are compressed. The second letter in comfy, O, stands for only a little or no areola tissue pulled into the tunnel. Here you see the nipple is in the breast shield tunnel, but the areola is not. This is a good fit. This mother is using a shield that is too large, with the areola being pulled into the tunnel. In a 2010 study, Prime and Associates found that milk expression was not as effective if a large amount of breast tissue entered the tunnel of the breast shield. M refers to motion, specifically the motion of the breast above the breast field flange. Note that the motion with a good fit is gentle and rhythmic with each pump cycle. The F in comfy stands for the mother feeling comfortable while pumping. Maternal comfort is the most important factor to consider when selecting a breast shield. Mothers are more likely to pump frequently and thoroughly if they're comfortable, and milk expression should be more effective. Pumping mothers should know that uncomfortable pumping is a sign some adjustments are needed. In addition to evaluating breast shield size, one must also consider the suction level. If pumping is uncomfortable, it could be that the vacuum level is too high. Once the breast shield fit is evaluated, we recommend instructing pumping women to find the maximum suction level that's still comfortable by gently increasing the pump's suction to the point of very mild discomfort, then decreasing the suction to a level that's comfortable. Because mother's nipples can change size and shape during a pumping session, we recommend having her use a new breast shield size for at least five minutes or longer before determining her comfort level. At any time, if she feels nipple discomfort or pain while pumping, she should request assistance to evaluate shield fitting and pumping procedures. It's not unusual for mothers to need to change breast shield sizes, especially in the first weeks of pumping. As mentioned before, they may also need a different size shield for each breast. Y stands for pumping effectiveness as measured by milk yield. A properly fitting breast shield should allow the breast to be well drained at the end of a pumping session. If an area of the breast still feels full or a bit firmer than the rest of the breast, the glandular tissue and milk ducts in that area may not have been drained. If an area of the breast still feels full at the end of pumping, make sure the shield is centered over the nipple. If it is, a different size shield may be needed. Breast milk production is dependent on effective, regular removal of milk. Therefore, optimal breast pumping effectively, efficiently, and comfortably removes mother's milk while protecting her milk supply. Like all breast pump equipment, breast shields should be thoroughly cleaned after each use. All parts of the pump kit must first be disconnected from one another. The shield is separated from the connector. Rinse all separated parts in cool water. Next, wash the breast shield and all other pump kit parts that have come in contact with milk with soap and water. Then rinse thoroughly and place on a clean surface to air dry or dry with a paper towel or freshly laundered cloth. Breast shields can also be washed in the top rack of a dishwasher, clean with Medela Quick Clean Breast Pump and Accessory Wipes, or Medela Quick Clean Breast Milk Removal Soap. Home sanitizing can be done by boiling for 10 minutes after washing or using a Medela Quick Clean Micro Steam Bag. In summary, an understanding of breast anatomy and knowledge of breast changes during lactation informs proper breast shield selection and fitting. A correctly fitted breast shield will protect maternal milk volume, optimize breast emptying, prevent nipple trauma, and maximize comfort during pumping.